Okay, sorry about the glare, it's the Australian sun and all that UV light we have down under. I want to talk about Julia Gillard and sexism. See, yes, see here for the link to her recent discussion or her, her recent uh, speech in uh, federal parliament about uh, sexism and Tony Abbott where she, uh, well, she seemed rather like a schoolmistress and he seemed like a naughty boy in the school schoolmistress's, uh, well, in her room, you know, in the office. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Julia Gillard hates sexism, apparently. She abhors sexism. I'm just working from a mind map here. One presumes Julia Gillard isn't sexist, is she? She's not sexist. She had a speech, um, you know, against the evils of sexism. Now, I'd like to talk about sexism and sex crime. Now, under Australian law, female circumcision is considered a sex crime. That's female genital human, uh, female genital mutilation. It's a human rights violation. It's considered a sex crime. And in Sydney, for example, if there's any allegations of uh, female genital mutilation going on, the sex crime squad will be called out. And insofar as these are uh, the sex crime concerns the underaged, it can be considered a violent paedophiliac sex crime, can't it? So, in Australia, the violent paedophiliac sex crime against children, female children, is outlawed. But the fact is, male genital mutilation in Australia is not outlawed. Now, I consider that a sex crime. I consider male genital mutilation a sex crime and a human rights violation. And to the extent that girls are protected, but it's okay to cut off 80% of a boy's most sensitive nervous tissue on, on their genitalia. That is uh, a sex crime. And it's uh, boys aren't protected. It's a violent assault upon the un underaged male. And as, as it's underaged, again, it can be considered a paedophiliac sex crime and a violent one. Now, little girls are protected. Yes, my mother decided that I should lose 80% of the most sensitive nervous tissue on my penis. I call that sexism. My mother's uh, genitalia were intact, but mine were, mine were mangled. I didn't have any say in the matter. That was a human rights violation. Now, if Julie Gillard is really, would really put her, would ha have the courage of her convictions and put her money where her mouth is, she would table she would move uh, move for there to be an she would move a bill uh protect for a bill in the australian uh, parliament federal parliament she would she would change the law she would work towards changing the law to defend boys little boys from what is a violent sex crime she would if she's really not sexist if she has the courage courage of her convictions if she'd put her money where her mouth is about sexism she would defend little boys from a violent sex crime if we defend little girls from a, a violent sex crime uh, and we're not going to be sexist about this we would defend little boys from a violent sex crime wouldn't we will julia defend little boys from a violent sex crime will she defend uh, the genital integrity of boys now, if we look at the Australian Human Rights Commission, going back to Quentin Bryce, I think when it first started, and then there was Susan Halliday, then there was Prue Goward, and any number of female sex discrimination commissioners, and the re most recent one was Eliza Broderick. Yes, one after the other. I mean, you know, what have all those female sex discrimination commissioners at the Australian Human Rights and Equal Opportunity Commission, what have they done? ever done to even speak up for the genital integrity of boys if you know please tell me because I'd like to know they may not be empowered to uh, to do it to to do anything but uh, they could at least speak up for the genital integrity of boys they're called a sex discrimination commissioner now the sex discrimination commissioner is someone who has to take their orders from the Australian federal government now if Julia Gillard really is not the sexist person that she <laughs> if Julia Gillard is not sexist she would defend little boys genital integrity that's what I'm saying 
I'm saying that, or that she says that she doesn't like sexism and she uh, had a big recent speech about it. Well, if she doesn't like sexism, uh, let's see her do, do something about it and defend little boys from genital mutilation. I think that would be fair. We had all these sex discrimination commissioners who did nothing to defend little boys. They did nothing. They must have had their tongues pruned out at birth. I hope Julia will do something. I hope our Julia Gillard will defend the genital integrity of little boys, stop them being mangled, stop them being subject to a violent and paedophiliac sex crime. It's an underage sex crime if it's done to girls. Uh, why isn't it, you know, why isn't it, uh, why aren't boys protected? I think I've said enough. Let's see what Julia Gillard does to protect the genital integrity of little boys in this country. Let's see if she, uh, uh, let's see, I think, really, to defend uh, little boys' genital integrity would show that you were not a sexist person. It would be proof that you really, really think sexism is a bad thing. See ya.